so this uh, this video is just to provide a little bit more context. Uh, what do these what do these look like? So for this particular molecule, we have here anthracene. This has a strong uh, fluorescent signal that we can observe. And so we can do our two types of spectra, right? Emission spectrum, excitation spectrum, which we went over in the last video, but the definitions are here as well. Uh, and so uh, for anthracene here, we have our wavelength going from high, low wavelength, high energy to um, longer wavelength, lower energy. So this is going, so lower energy is on the right, to increasing energy on the left. Um, and so we can see the fluorescence occurs at a lower energy uh, and that's what we're observing here. So the idea here is that after the molecule absorbs some energy, it loses some of that in that first relaxation process. And so your fluorescence is always gonna be lower energy than the excitation. And then the excitation spectrum, instead we're looking at the fluorescence and we're changing what wavelength we're exciting at. So this is happening at higher uh, energy, smaller wavelength than the fluorescent spectrum. And we see here this sort of maps onto, uh, right, the excitation happens at a higher energy, a smaller wavelength, and the fluorescence happens at a lower energy, and it's because of that gap between where the molecule absorbs light and then relaxes and loses some of that energy as heat. Uh, so we can see these sort of mirror each other, uh, though they're not exactly the same as each other. And this gives us a way to determine where, you know, maybe we want to ex excite, you know, on this peak and observe the fluorescence on this peak. So we get the maximum amount of signal from each of them. And this is the sort of information you would get from this. Um, and fluorescence works really well for analytical measurements as long as the concentration isn't too high. Uh, once the concentration gets pretty strong or get, gets large, uh, we can get nonlinear behavior because, that occurs because as the molecules start fluorescing, if there are other molecules around that are not just solvent molecules, they can absorb that light and then refluoresce. And that can lead to nonlinear behavior where you don't get a nice um, you know, linear response with respect to concentration. You can't make a nice calibration curve. Um, so fluorescent works well for low uh, concentrations, um, but as the concentration gets too high, similar to absorption spectra, um, there is a point at which uh, you don't get linear behavior anymore and it doesn't work very well. So this is, again, just showing some actual data of what this looks like for a molecule, you know, for anthracene that we have here. Uh, and so this concludes chapter 18 on fundamentals of spectroscopy.